Hello YouTube, Infomatch Great Community, Gandalf here. We have reached the Elite Division, and today it's the first day of the Elite Division. Uh, very first day. And I thought I'd share with you uh, a big milestone, so just a little bit over two months playing. Um, I, I love the retrospect and telling me how much time I've spent so far. Um, we started playing on, on the 28th. We put 120 hours into the game, so averaging about maybe two hours a day. Um, what's really nice is, is showing that you know my arena performance is definitely a lot higher relative to um, you know the things I've done here. So this kind of speaks to what I do in PvP. I know the rewards for some feel like oh, it's a dis little disappointing, but it's not about the rewards. It's about a retrospect about you know your accomplishments and um you know this is really small but this is about you know the size of you know what we get for like maybe two redeem codes so it's still better than nothing the big rewards are coming don't worry the anniversary events is just around the corner we'll start um seeing a lot of free goodies uh at the next update beginning of the week um what i've got done today is elemental city for the first time I have cleared Elemental City stage 75. Uh, so in this video, I'll go over in terms of a little bit of tips and tricks on how I clear these stages. Now on my channel, you will find a guide, but I feel like it probably needs a little bit of update. First of all, uh, this was the team I kind of used to clear the, the last stage. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the, the stats are not insane. I mean, it's just E2 and E1 over here on Eratos. It's not about the damage you do to the boss, to be honest, because the boss, you're not going to be doing much damage to it. You really just need to do a lot of AoE. Whenever you kill all the adds, you do get your um, cooldowns back. Uh, to be able to get that um, very nice um, pursuit attack AoE from Lydia really helps with getting these three stacks removed so that you can start killing these ads again. Uh, the CC uh, from Allcaster is really reliable after he gets four stacks. So early game, if you're just using a Santa, you might not be able to freeze them. Uh, sometimes these ads do cause you a lot of problems. Um, so I was using a Santa previously and then I opted to use Allcaster instead just simply because of the much more reliable freeze there. So that's what I'll say about this particular stage. Uh, in terms of the waves, you know, if the bosses are much harder than the waves, I just use something along the lines of, um, along the lines of this, and I was fine clearing it. You know, just three tanks, two DPS, and that was fine. Um, and you know, if I was failing, I would just you know, click next step or retry, and I was able to use the same team for all of the stages up to that are trash waves. On number five, here's kind of the tip. You definitely want to bring Catherine. Uh, you could bring three DPS if you want. I feel like Catherine Nordak is probably most critical because on the boss stage, what you want to do is to make sure that um, you always time your Catherine counterattack. The key mechanics to watch for this one. So he's going to do a big sand roar. He's going to reduce his speed to one. And he's going to lose his massive shield because he's going to have 75% damage resistance. So he's going to be, you know, do um, you know? Do very little. You know, do do very little. You can do very little damage to him, basically. Um, and he, he's going to lose his shield, and basic attack does a whole bunch of damage to him. So really, it's all about the counter attack. Uh, in theory, like this isn't very optimal setup. Even if you are on this stage, like you're going to have to use basic attack to really take advantage of it. Eratos is really nice for the. Um, for the for the wave clearing and whatever, but really what you need on the boss wave is strong basic attacks combined with counter. So in, in this case, you know, actually something like you know DMU and Indra, like this will absolutely completely shred the boss uh, very easily. Um, and this is probably a much easier setup. You just need to time it and then hit the boss really hard um, with your Indra basics. Um, uh, you can probably stack up the dots right before, you know, the counter attacks, and this will work really well. Another way, even just your, you know, even all caster basics after your defense break, and 
enfeeble, this is still going to hurt a lot on the boss. So if you're doing something like this, you know, this also works. Now, stage 10 is the weird one. Stage 10 used to be the probably the hardest in this rotation because you need to put all three dots. You actually need to get a total of 15 layers of the dot uh, to invalidate this. But apparently there's a bug in the game right now that makes this super easy. What I did to beat this stage is I borrowed uh, someone's Eratos E3 in the slot and it became a complete joke of a level. Um, I really think they should fix it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you think this should be fixed because you clearly see here in the description that even though Burst Note is supposed to do one stage of additional damage, 35% of the original, and does extra damage. Okay, extra damage. And the damage will be increased to 100% to the original to bosses. That's fine. The extra damage that ignores shield immortal and damage unit enemies, excluding bosses. So if we read this correctly, this is saying the extra damage that it's supposed to be ignoring the shield, immortal, all of that, it shouldn't have on bosses. Yet for all of these stages, it seems to work. Now, I can't show a case on this one, so we're going to go to the other account, um, and I'm going to showcase it for you over there. Uh, oh, So just give me a sec while I switch over to another account. All right. Um, so let's go straight to Elemental City and we'll show how this becomes super easy. Uh, let's just grab our Eratos. Heck, let's grab little Jack. Let's grab um, Big Jack. Heck, let's see how fast we can kill this boss. Let's bring all the stuff that can boost damage for the heck of it. Where's the Lydia? Where's Lydia? Yeah, something along the lines of this, right? This is gonna go crazy. Um, probably should have brought the Lydia because Lydia wastes an extra turn. But anyways, I mean, as much as I'm trying to set a record here, um, I'm probably not going to set the record. All right. Uh, is my... Whatever. Whatever. Like my big... Some, something else has my big jack is gear um, on right now. So, but anyways, let's just you know destroy that stage. Now, you can see the boss is immune to all types of damage, right? However, if you notice, Eratos just literally shredded the boss um, for a good chunk right there. Let's do one more. Eratos up. And... Oh, sorry, my bad. I should have used the burst notes there. Uh, you need to use the burst notes. Um, yeah, burst notes. Look at that. <laughs> 27 turns. Did we set a record there? We probably did. Let's go check, just quickly check uh, the, uh, the, the record on that one. So, oh, someone, someone did it in 22. Heck, someone did it in 22. Um, I wonder if Chelsea has damage immunity. No, now I think about it. You know what? That just got me an idea. Because Andreas does ignore damage immunity, doesn't it? Oh, this is, this is, this is going to be fun. Um, we're going to see if we can set some records here. Um, 
Do I want to use Lydia? Let's see. Let's see. Um, Fern. This is now just getting silly. Uh, let's put in a Chelsea and Andreas. I don't even think they're properly built. But oh well, let's 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 give it a try. Um, sorry, um, you know I, I think I think you know this is just getting silly now. Uh, we're gonna try to set a record here just to j just to make a point. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments below if you think this should be fixed because this I, I really like it in the sense that. Um, I wouldn't have beaten it without it, um, but I also recognize that this is probably not the way we want it. We 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 want this to work, right? Let me let me let's just bring something with along the lines of uh, focus here. Where's focus? Focus probably is what I want to use to set the record. Where's focus? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go let's go set a record. Let's go set a record. Okay. Um here, Big Jack. Aura. Let's make sure we have the right aura on scale master. Use. Okay. Let's go set some records. Um ten. I'm pretty sure we can do this in an absurd number. Okay, we're going to just use these heroes. Jack is going to boost the HP damage there. And we'll bring uh, Big Jack and we'll bring Focus. Focus, where are you? All right, let's go set some records. Um, So one, and then we're gonna let Eratos go, and that should kill everything. So that's three turns. Uh, let's do one more. And okay, so we're on six. One, two. Kill everything, do a burst note. Um, now, if I were to use it right now, I think it would it will do the it will do the trick, right? Oh no! Darn it! That was a mistake. Um, mistakes were made. I had to use it. F I had to cycle it. Uh, use it first and then uh, great I need one more turn so so I can probably do this better uh, uh, that's that's too many turns burst and then burst oh wait that wasn't enough oh my okay anyways you get the point I'm not gonna waste more time on this but this was kind of silly um, Hopefully you enjoy the silliness at the end. But yeah, take advantage of this um, until they patch it, I guess. Um, but yeah, Eratos really um, does, does break many aspects of the game. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Gandalf out.